Hi there, let's get started on installing Project Lunar on your Sega Genesis Mini. We will start by going to this GitHub page and scroll down until you see the zip files. We want to download the Project Lunar installer zip, which is the one I'm hovering over. Save it somewhere on your computer and open it once it's finished downloading. Open the zip file and unzip the Project Lunar installer.exe. Uh, you could ignore the release notes at this point. It's not really needed. So now I'm going to go to the folder where I unzip the Project Lunar installer and then I'm going to double click on it to launch it. Now your Windows Defender might block this application from launching, but just click on more information and allow it to run. It's a safe program. Next, you will need to decide where to install the Project Lunar app. Now, I actually want to put it somewhere where it's easier for me to remember where the app is, because this is where you can actually launch it. Um, the default setting, it's not, it's not going to be something I'm going to remember, but it's just my preference. But I'm going to install it in my documents. But once again, the choice is yours. And here you could create the desktop shortcut if you want. I don't really use desktop shortcut, so I'm not I'm gonna leave that unchecked. And there you go. Just click launch project lunar, hover over to the install. Since this will be your first time installing Project Lunar, it will install a driver on your computer. Just wait for it to finish installing. Now this took about 30 seconds, but I'm gonna fast forward it again. You will get a prompt that says, no console detected. Do you wish to start the Project Lunar install process? Click yes, and now this is where you will connect your Sega Genesis Mini to your PC. So I'm going to switch to my Sega Mini and show you how to connect it to your PC. Make sure it is entirely unplugged. All you need is a data transferring micro USB cord. This is not the micro USB cable that came with the Sega Mini. It has to be a data transferring micro USB. And the only way to tell is to use the micro USB cable on a device and see if your PC recognizes it. For example, like an Android phone. Plug the micro USB cable into your Sega Mini, but don't connect the other end to your PC yet. Put the Sega Genesis Mini into the on position. Hold the reset button, and now plug in the other end of the micro USB cable into your PC. Continue holding the reset button for a few more seconds, and then release. You should hear your PC making a connection noise. Now I'm going to switch back to my PC view. Once the Sega Genesis Mini console is detected, you'll see a prompt that says FEL mode detected. Now just wait for the Project Lunar to finish transferring. Now the Sega Genesis Mini will restart in the middle of this process and it'll then it'll make a backup of your NEN. Unfortunately this will take another 10 minutes for it to finish completing so I'm going to fast forward again but do know this is the longest process. As you can see, you get a message saying installation complete. Click OK and then finish. Now you can launch Project Lunar by clicking on Open Game Manager. Once in Project Lunar, wait for it to set up. You'll get a prompt telling you to save the backup NIN by clicking on Tools at the top right. Click on Advanced and then Export Backup. I highly recommend this step because think of the NIN as your backup files in case anything goes wrong. 
This backup is an exact copy of the files in your Sega Mini that you can actually restore your console back to in case, once again, in case of anything that goes wrong. So, of course, right after Project Lunar is done syncing. This is so Project Lunar can determine how much free space is on your console. So just do this process first and then I guess we'll go back to we uh, backing up our NAND. You can check on the status by looking on the bottom right corner where we see the status. Just wait for uh, Project Lunar to do its thing. Once the status is complete, you'll see that your Sega Genesis Mini only has 170 megabytes of free space. Now, it should be enough for holding additional Sega Genesis games, but not much else. So let's finally back up our NAND. And once again, we can do this by going up to the tools menu bar at the very top, going to advanced and then clicking on export backup. Now, once again, you have to browse to somewhere where you want to store this backup. And again, it's entirely up to you. I'm just gonna save it in my down downloads folder. And then you should get a prompt saying your backup is complete. And there we go. We have just successfully installed Project Lunar on our Sega Genesis Mini. Tune in to my next video where I'll show you how to add additional games that were not in the original Sega Genesis Mini. Just a reminder for those who prefer to have a written guide to check out my website, SegaMiniMods.com. It's a simple step-by-step -step guide with picture that goes over everything we cover in this video and much more. So once again, thank you so much for watching.